Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I thought it would be kind of warm enough to like wear just my jean jacket again. FYI, I'm not going to wear this jacket in the summer. We're going to be skinny bitches in the summer, okay? We outwore this jacket last summer to the point where I'm no known as the jean jacket lady. There's a huge rip here, but I mean, I can't cover myself in a big jacket in the summer. So what, what's a bitch going to do? Anyway, um, thrifting with Daniel, he's inside. It's great to thrift with someone because then they find something that they don't really care for that you might want and you'd have success in. Anyway, Daniel's coming. So that's the good part of it. Some donations. Oh, these are my COVID tests. Those aren't for donation. My old boots, guys, we're donating them because we got these boots right here that we thrifted. They're old boots. Look, guys, I have an A and an H. I just need an S in between. Do we park? There's no parking. Right here. Do it. But I bet and slide it in slowly. Oh yeah. Ashley. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> we get to the thrift haul of the video we went to walmart because i finally was able to find this they don't sell this anywhere else i guess they just sold it at walmart but i've been to so many grocery stores i don't carry this because i had a coupon for it for free and because my coupon was worth 15 dollars, they accidentally refunded me or credited me three dollars and they didn't want to go they're not supposed to do that technically but they did so um i got three dollars from walmart hello anyway this is free um I might just donate this to my charity because I feel like people on the street can benefit from this. It has a lot of like nutrients and vitamins and minerals. So might just save that for um, them. And then I was watching, well, no, I'm, I've been kind of like obsessed with skincare lately, especially getting older. And I used to use a retinol back in the day. Um, my old um, facialist, uh, my old facialist, uh, Kimberly, used to uh, do all my face stuff, all my skincare, and she gave me some really expensive uh, serum. And, well, not serum, uh, retinol. Well, I guess it was like a serum. But I ran out like maybe two years ago, so, or maybe three years ago. So I haven't used a retinol since, and apparently retinol is super good for your skin. Well, I know it's super good for your skin, especially at nighttime. So I ended up getting a retinol to put into my skincare regimen at night. So the ones that I just wanted is a drugstore brand. I feel like retinol is retinol is retinol. You don't need freaking like La Mer or uh, I don't know, Dior or Chanel retinol. You could just get away with just a drugstore brand. But um, I was choosing before be between Oil of Olay, Neutrogena and CeraVe because they all had good reviews from doctors and I just ended up going with the least uh, expensive one, which is a CeraVe. I do have their body moisturizer, which I like, and I know that they're very popular. So this is a resurfing, resurfing, resurfacing retinol serum. Helps reduce the appearance of post acne marks and pores, restore the protective skin barrier, improve skin smoothness. Uh, 30 ml for, I think it was $26. So we're gonna incorporate that at night in our skincare regimen. Not sure how much it's gonna last or how long it's gonna last or how much, but yeah, we just went with the cost effective one. We picked this up, I don't know why. Um, Disney store, the Lion Guard, five dollars, brand new in box. Disney is very popular, and um the box is a little mungled, mangled, mungled. I feel like mungled is a good word, but brand new sealed for five dollars. So um 
I don't know. I just feel like we could just post this. Because I remember posting a Disney figurine on Marketplace. For, and it sold for like, it was just like this tiny little thing. So maybe someone will buy this for $15 or $20 on Marketplace. So we picked that up. We picked up this mat and that crossbody. I don't know. I just, it was inexpensive. It was $8.50, less $2 off. I feel like someone in the summer, spring will want something like this. And uh, Daniel found this. It's um, Mighty Mouse Wireless for 10 bucks. I'm surprised they didn't have this in Showcase. That Value Village usually prices as expensively. So probably can sell this for 25 Again, Daniel found this, <laughs> $10. This one is really good. When you come across these keyboards from Apple, they're dirty, they have so much built up shit underneath, but this one is fairly clean, cleaner than most I've seen most of the time. So $10 for this, probably sell this for 25 because you know, your wireless keyboards always lose battery. And then sometimes you don't have batteries on hand and you need, and plus it saves you money. I've actually, stopped using my wireless keyboard and started using this because and just plug it in because I feel like I'm going through batteries and I'm not even using my computer that much you know and then we picked up this Pyrex for three dollars I like these small ones because since I am a loner and don't have a husband or a boyfriend I usually cook for one and this is enough for one <laughs> Put some chicken wings in there or like if i want to do a veggie lasagna keto veggie lasagna that'll be good this was a cute little find this is the third or second time i've thrifted this jack spade leather and then nylon very durable very expensive um oh someone forgot this in here what is this oh it's a light i think cool is it a light Oh, it is a light and it works. Woohoo. Hello. I got something for free. About time. Yeah, this is a Jack Spade um, crossbody bag. Well, messenger bag. Doesn't come with the crossbody strap, unfortunately, but I'm sure we can just replace that with something else. But yeah, this was only $7. And Jack Spade resells for expensive. A lot, a lot of guys love this brand. I can see why. It's really good quality. And I feel like it's a little step up above than Kate Spade. Daniel's back. Can I have a coupon? Oh, sure. What did you get? Uh, well, I don't know if they're real, but they're 20 something to get. Essential shorts. Oh. They'll be on the counter for 20. But I don't know if that's real. But they look all right. I don't know if they're real, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so innocent. I don't know if they're real, Ashley. I don't know. I don't know, Ashley, what I'm going to do. I know. <laughs> Daniel's so funny. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Live your life, Daniel. Wilfred, um, $30 less 20% off. It is a size extra small, but it's okay. I feel like it's a little oversized. This is a cashmere wool jacket in this beautiful color these jackets are super expensive at aritzia i believe they sell for at least 400 from my recollection um i know daniel just found one and he sold his for like 180 i think so we could probably get like 150. some skinny bitch that loves aritzia will think this is a bargain and buy it and it's in great condition a little bit of dirt in some places but i'll be able to spot clean that no pilling on the wool jacket a little wrinkling but whatever and it comes with the belt which is good so this jacket is beautiful we picked this up because i knew this looked vintage as hell we're gonna throw these other nail polishes back in the donation but um we picked up this uh this sells for like literally 60 dollars on etsy guys it's vintage gucci gucci ascenti eau de toilette 5 ml Sixty dollars. The cheapest one I saw was forty nine ninety nine. Uh, made in Germany. I don't like this. Looks old, like eighties, maybe. Yeah, like late eighties or mid eighties. Don't know what it smells like, but oh wait. Okay, 
Yeah, that definitely smells 80s. It's giving me like obsession vibes, Chanel number no. five vibes. Um, yeah. It does smell better than those though. I like it doesn't smell as old, like as grandma y. We got that. Um, what kind of lipstick is this? Is this lipstick used? Oh, it's not used. Oh no, it is used. Gross. Um, some nail polish. Oh, there's OPI in here. Hello. These are actually kind of cute colors. Made in Luxembourg. LCN nail polish. I feel like that's a brand name. And OPI. I guess I'll keep these. These are kind of cute colors. Oh, that one. <coughs> Last but certainly not least, which is probably... Oh, wait. We, we thrifted something else. DKNY. I've seen crossbody strap again. But I've had luck with DKNY because the quality of DKNY bags are just high quality. Like, I don't know why people don't talk about it more because this shit is good quality. Like, they make their leather super nice. This is like, um, almost like an Epi slash Safiano. Like, her shit is, I just don't know, uh, just, I don't know. I guess DKNY got played out by the 90s, but they used to get, like, they used to get referenced by rappers all the time. Um, but yeah. So we got that DKNY. Missing the crossbody strap, but hopefully we can match it eventually. And, but it's a great bag. That's it. There we go. Put this in here. Ow. 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 You didn't get them. No, because they're fake. <laughs> it's too bad that the labels are so bad. I don't want a pair of those shorts. I found this though. What'd you find? What'd you find? Like it. I feel like someone just posted one of those. They did. <laughs> oh, it's Roots. Roots. Single stitch. Phantom of the Opera t-shirt. It's funny that Roots printed these. I know. Pretty cool though. Roots Canada. Such a classic shirt. Nice. I like it. It's cool. Something spectacular. But... Okay. You haven't been in, in videos in a while. Daniel's been lazy. I'm hiding, you guys. I'm not lazy. Don't put me on video no more. <laughs> Just kidding. There hasn't been much to film with me. Same old Daniel. This angle is amazing. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix my hair too. It's falling over. It's still flat. Oh well. Talk about something. Your fans want to hear from you, Daniel. Talk about something. Hmm. Ashley had a better thrift day than me today. Well, I did a little bit of a haul. It wasn't. It was okay. <laughs> you did better than me. It's usually me. Last week I was telling Ashley that I think I was spending like minimum a hundred dollars per day at the thrift store. I think I did like some days where they were like two hundred. It's crazy. When, but, do we, when do we plan on going back to the United States of America? Secret. Just kidding. No, no we plan on going back a lot. A probably all through spring, mm -hmm. summer, mm -hmm. probably March, right? I'm thinking March. I'm excited. I love going to the States. The States I'm itching to so go to the fun. bins. It's so much fun. Ashley gets the, uh, she goes, she like sleeps Can you move the, the camera back? Yeah. I feel like it's all up in my face. I'll, yeah, I'll up in my grill. I was telling, no, <laughs> no I'm telling okay, them that you, you sleep in the hotel bed and make me go do all the works in the bed for you. You're my white slave. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I got her like three amazing purses, she still claims that they're not amazing, but they were. They were amazing, amazing, but they didn't resell for as much as I, they should have. They were all in one bin too, to think about that. You paid like under five bucks? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Insane. Mm -hmm. I'm tired, you guys. I'm sore too. I had a crazy weekend. Went to this indoor beach thing. There's like indoor sand and stuff, like volleyball nets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad those shorts are fake. I found Essentials Fear of God shorts in the store. Black, size small, medium. Except I don't know how they put that Nobody on. Nobody cares about that shit. Okay, let's do a QA with Daniel. Um, what is your favorite color? 
What do you think it is? Mm. You should, everyone should know that. I bet everyone already knows blue. what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> should have kept this secret. What does everyone think? Yeah, no, blue is my favorite. I love the color blue. What kind of music do you listen to? I really like country. Um, pop is probably my second favorite. <laughs> You're giving them ones that they already know. Just answer it! So, whatever their name is. No, I like the heavy stuff. Rock music? Rock isn't heavy. Some if you guys are gonna say that, like, the heavy music I listen to, yeah, Guns N' Roses, ACDs, that's not heavy music, you guys. I'm sorry. Some people think that you worship the devil because of your shirts. What do you have to say about that? What do I have to say? What are, are you a devil worshiper? What, what do you think I'm going to go do when I get home? Just kidding, uh, no. Sacrifice? Exactly. <laughs> I don't believe in Satan, you guys. I bet that'll make people happy. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't. I yeah. really don't. Everyone thinks I do, but I don't. I'm an innocent kid. Kid. 24 <laughs> year old man. Ew, is that fucking truck in the way? Eat my own. Is he just, no, he's, he's riding us as far away. How is he? Oh. Yeah, you're good. We're never gonna get back in that. Honestly, way. that's the funny thing too, because you guys see me wear these shirts all the time, and people make on the air and just hate it, and you're like devil worshiping. It's funny because anyone else that sees me thinks I'm the most innocent person ever. But yeah. I'm like, like you see me in public. Even you if you wear those shirts, I don't, I don't get devil worshiper vibes. <laughs> no. Trust me, guys. See me in person, you'll understand. It's not me. Um. What else? Look at the camera just shake. It looks like we're just getting like belted. <laughs> it's like my belt. Ashley and Daniel get into a car accident. Like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. stop. Like, why can't your thing stay straight? Why aren't you okay with people moaning? Is what I want to know. I see I'm really? Daniel? And honestly, you've done it sometimes in front of like people. Like, Have you don't I? Even just do it. I'm gonna talk like this from now on. Even in public. Da da <laughs> you can't even get that. Daniel, there's a, there's a heart shaped box over there. <laughs> you can't even get the word out. <laughs> if you like scream that across the store, I'd there's be so There's a Marilyn Manson. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I would die. You've done that. There's that, a Teletubbies. Ah! That's embarrassing. I can't see. Wait, he's going. This so is I your favorite go. intersection. I hate this intercourse section. Ah! <laughs> Spook me. Intersection. You're gonna, get, you're, gonna get us, you're gonna get us killed one of these days. Intersection. Sex, isn't it? You're an addict. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just having so much sex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like eat, sleep, <laughs> and Eat, out. sleep, and think about it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure your life just revolves around it. Uh, oh, you have to show them. Yeah, oh my god. Show your little lemon things. Oh, my god. oh yeah. What's this brown thing back here? Nothing. Why is there stains on it? Yeah, there's a second to get those out. I'm fine. I, it doesn't look too bad. Here, let's see. Well, I didn't, yeah, I really didn't find much today, but you have to cut so much of this out, Ashley. Anyways, me and Ashley, are, me and Ashley are passing this back and forth to each other. I don't know. I really liked it from the start. It's just the price is a bit steep. Lululemon, one of those scuba crop hoodies, but it's, uh, it's a half zip, not a quarter zip. Super nice. Cut like, you. Damage in it. Oh, there is a mark here. There. No, it's like nothing. It's the tan color scuba. Good size, too. Crop. It's large. Yeah. <gasps> Let's jump him. He has a can of his jacket. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> we don't jump. Did, you, did you show it or was I yes. just not paying attention? You, I was, yeah, I, I, I pulled it up. You're too busy thinking about other things. <laughs> Sex and think about like robbing people. <laughs> don't do that. Actually, we're good people. Stop! Until I get home. Um, yeah. Ashley didn't want the Lulu spider, so she came. There's a kid in there. <laughs> oh my god. It didn't look like that. I don't know what they're Don't kid, I you remember the movie Smile? Stop. <laughs> That's so scary. Ashley, I don't like that. 
<laughs> That's actually so scary. You look filtered. It's like that like smile filter. Which, by the way, sucked. The movie sucked. No, that, mo that movie was good. I went yeah. to the theater for it. And... Was I, out of my I was actually pools. scared. I'm like this at the, for new movies. I'm like this. You're scared of wind on a highway, Daniel. <laughs> Flashback. <laughs> I remember that. I'm getting better. Guys, finally we got Daniel on camera. I've, I feel like you guys have been missing him and I've actually been missing him in the videos too. So if you want to see more of Daniel, show him some love guys because we miss Daniel on the channel. Literally I'm in with him every day, but it's just hard to film because we're just in a rush. He's in a rush, I'm in a rush. There's just a lot of rushing and there's not enough time for filming, but that's just an excuse. Excuses are that's what they are. Excuses are excuses. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you want to see Mo about Daniel, holla at your girl and holla at your boy. Um, did anybody watch the Grammys last night? I was low-key happy for Kim Petras because she ended up being the first trans person to win a Grammy in pop duo vocal performance. And I thought that was super classy of Sam Smith to let her take the stage because, you know, trans rights, hello. My only qualm about that was that I wasn't the first person to win it, but that's okay. We can still win the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress or Best Actress. That is a goal for us in the long run. Uh, <laughs> and then Lizzo won Record of the Year. I was so surprised about that. Um, and then Bonnie Raitt won Song of the Year again. Super shocked, and she was shocked too. I always wondered what was the difference between Record and Song of the Year. And I actually got the breakdown, so it's been years. I've been before the Grammys were even like super, super popular, even though they were super, super popular back in the day, but even before social media. So as a kid in the 90s, I used to always follow the Grammys religiously because I was fat, I was a loser, I was like, had no friends. So I literally immersed myself in pop culture. And being like between the ages of like 11 to, I guess, 16, 17, I literally subscribed to every Teen People, Entertainment Weekly, Movie Line, um, People Magazine, Teen Vogue, 16, Tiger Beat, every single magazine. And then watching all my favorite shows like Hard Copy, Entertainment Tonight, Access Hollywood, Showbiz Today. I was just like immersed in pop culture. Anyway, my point is, even back then, I had no clue. I thought record, song, like what's the difference? I never really actually looked into it until yesterday. I was like, what the hell is the difference between record of the year and song of the year? Record of the year is, is awarded to the producers of the album and the artist. And then song of the year is a, awarded to the writers. I didn't know that, but it's nice to know now. <laughs> but um, yeah, and Harry Styles won album of the year. I thought that was really well-deserved. I love Harry Styles. Um, I think he's like the Justin Timberlake of this generation where he came from a boy band and became a solo artist. But the difference is Justin Timberlake never really reached the kind of acclaim that Harry Styles did with his last album, Harry's House. Um, I actually took the time to listen to the album uh, on the way to pick up Daniel earlier. And I actually like a lot of the songs because I'm, I'm a singles girl. So I don't really take the time anymore to listen to someone's entire album. I haven't even done that since probably like the 90s. Like I would say the late 90s before streaming became a thing around 2000, 2001. Because back then you would just buy the CDs, put it in and just listen. You know, we did, you couldn't have a playlist and mix it up. Unless you were rich and had one of those um, 10 CD changers at home or in your car and you could just randomly like, you know, <laughs> shuffle. But we weren't. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, I didn't really watch the Grammys, but I just I just wanted to see who the winners were because that kind of interested me. And oh, another thing I didn't know was that a Filipino woman was nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress. Uh, hello, I did not know that. And then, but she didn't get nominated for an Oscar, which kind of sucked. But again, we can be the first. Um, <laughs> other than that, uh, okay, so we are at the grocery store. I need to pick up some yogurt and some shrimp that I want to do like a curry mixed vegetable thing. Uh, yeah, so the last two items that we thrifted that I want to share with you guys are actually pretty good items. Okay. I'm a big fan of Joe Malone. Uh, overpaid for these, but I had to because they're cheaper than retail. And we bougie, but we bougie, butchy. <laughs> we are 
butchy bougie on a budget bitches. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we picked up this, which is the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede Body and Hand Wash. Oh, did I just open it? Oh, I broke the seal. Sorry. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells expensive as hell, but this was expensive. This was, I believe, $25. I used a 20% off coupon. It's 100 ml, and I believe this retails for, I'll put it up here, but I I want to say like 60 something dollars for this small little bitch. Um, and we paid $25, less 20% off. I love the packaging, Joe Malone. Um, yeah, so there we go. And then we picked up this. This was super effing expensive. Like they, these should be in the little baggies that they hang on the wall that are like $8.99. But no, Valley Village, you're you're like you're a greedy motherfucker. Um, this one was seventy dollars, and I used a twenty percent off coupon, so I still paid sixty dollars. Now retail on this is, I believe, a hundred, a hundred dollars for this small. Well, the only thing I don't like about this is that there's no spray, and it's like one of those dabbing perfumes, and that's one of my pet peeves and perfumes is dabbing perfumes. I don't want to be like going like this and this. Like, no, I need a spray, okay? But this one is English Pear and Freesia. Oh, wait, this is bath oil. This isn't even a perfume. And this was $70? Fuck me in the asshole with a chainsaw. Oh, now I'm kind of annoyed. I won't even... The perfume retailed for 100 So this, I don't know, bath oil? I don't need no fucking bath oil. I'm so annoyed, guys. I can't even like resell this. I don't know what bath. I'm gonna. I need to Google it right now and see how much bath oil is, and I'll get back to you. I literally got ripped the fuck off. I got ripped the fuck off. I paid seventy dollars, and then I used a twenty percent off coupon, so ten dollars off of a fifty dollar purchase. I still paid sixty dollars plus tax, so sixty three dollars for this that retails at Holt Renfrew, which is our version of Nordstrom, for forty dollars. I literally up paid. $20 for this at the thrift store and Value Village is the last place that deserves extra money from me. You best to believe a bitch is going to be writing an email to Value Village because this is like insane. Like, yes, I should have done my due diligence and um, looked at what it was, but like, no. And I don't even, oh, fuck me in the asshole. Ugh. I don't know where the tag for it went. I think I actually just threw it out at the car wash, guys. I think I just threw the tags out at the car wash. And now I am shit out of luck and I can't even return it anymore. The only proof I have is I did take some video of it in the store. But I don't have the tag anymore. I don't know where it went. Ugh. I can't even fucking complain. This is so annoying. I paid $20 more. Oh, again, my fault. It is what it is. And I, one of my biggest pet peeves is wasting money. But what you going to do? I'm still going to complain to them. But yeah, <laughs> let's see if they do anything. Woosa, woosa. The last thing that we caught, though, which is, a, is a, an amazing item. This is a beautiful, high quality, luxurious scarf uh five dollars have you guys heard of this brand because they're very like they're kind of a niche brand it is from acme studios expensive as hell guys i think this retails for 350 plus taxes used i saw the exact one on etsy for 150 lamb's wool made in italy beautiful scarf and it's one of their big ones that can be almost like a shawl it's in like perfect condition there's no holes there's no pilling really really good quality guys really nice and I love like, ah, that is, that just screams like class. Imagine this with a Wilfred um, coat, like, hello, you can't go wrong with that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am such an idiot for overpaying for something. Should have done my due, 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 due diligence. I honestly thought it was perfume. I don't know. Maybe I just got caught in the moment of Joe Malone. I'm just annoyed that I had to pay more than what the end of the day though it is also a write-off so it's kind of like um <laughs> i paid oh i was it so yeah it's kind of it's a write-off it's called it's product inventory because i'm not keeping it for myself obviously 
So I'm probably just going to consider it a write-off. Obviously, I cannot sell it for more than what I paid for it, especially since the retail is more is less. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna con like consider it a loss and a lesson learned. That's an important lesson for you guys. Ema examine the shit that you're buying at the thrift store because those motherfuckers made it so that you can't return shit, you can't exchange shit unless it's like clothes and or shoes. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to remain positive, productive, and progressive. Keep manifesting those dreams because they will come true. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, even though that happened to me, I'm not, I don't really linger in anger because it's kind of like shit happens, right? And at the end of the day, it benefits me. Like, it, I can claim it on income tax for 2024, for the 2023 uh, fiscal year. And then um, it's also, I also garnered some points. So how many points did we get anyway? I don't know. I know. <sighs> I'm so angry. One of my biggest pet, pet, my biggest pet peeves is wasting money. When food goes bad, annoying. When you get a ticket for speeding or a red light ticket, annoying. When you get a parking ticket, annoying. I hate wasting money. It is very, very annoying. But it's okay because I'm going to manifest a lottery or some sort of riches because we are uh, <laughs> we are meant to be rich. And not only like I live a lifestyle of lux, bougie on a budget bitches still, but also to help people and help animals because that is what we want to do at the end of the day is be a good person. A sexual, crude, vulgar, nice person is possible still. Uh, yeah, so we... 60 points? That's not even a fucking dollar. Whatever. That's 60 cents. Um, by another note, I actually... Um, should I even talk about this? I actually got a little bit of uh, inquiry about uh, starting up being a um, sugar baby again. I mean, I'm not really comfortable being the obese whale that I am, but I mean, hell, if someone's going to pay for it, all I have to do is act like I'm confident and that will exude my worth and my price point. I don't know. You guys remember that I used to do sugar baby videos two years ago and then I abruptly stopped because of my experience about it? Um, I don't know. Should I do it again? I mean, I'm okay with doing it again, but I don't know. I kind of want to film more of it and just make it into like a series. But at the end of the day, like what if I become an Academy Award winning actress and then that whole shit comes out? She was a sugar baby. She intercoursed for money. Um, sorry, I don't think there's anything wrong for intercoursing for money, just saying. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? Should Miss Philly become a sugar baby again? Should I not? I feel like I should. I mean, it's another stream of income. I mean, it's technically entrepreneurial, right? 